this session is only on binary multiplication how the binary multiplication can be done so we know that in our very school days we used to do the multiplications so let us suppose here we will be doing the same type of multiplication but using binary numbers so let me go for one example let us suppose we are going to multiply 14 and 10 we are going to multiply 14 and 10 you know that the product will be 140 so how to represent 14 in binary number system 14 means 8 present 4 present so 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 2 present so 8 plus 4 plus 2 that is 14 1 is absent I am talking about the place values now how, how to represent 10 here so 8 and 2 4 is absent and 1 is absent 8 and 2 will make that one 10 so now let me go for the multiplication it is very simple the first term is 0 so all zeros will be coming next one is 1 so I should go for 1 bit 1 bit left shift so now I will be going for 1 bit left shift and this place will remain vacant and it will be having 1 1 1 0 then the next bit in the multiplier is 0 so it will be coming like 0 and this bit is 1 so it will be coming like this bit pattern so we know that the thing which is the number which is going to get multiplied is known as multiplicand which will be kept in the m register and the this particular 10 will be the multiplier which will be kept in the q register initially and this these are the partial products four times because four bits are there in the multiplier it is not mandatory that multiplier and multiplicand will have the same number of bits always so now go on adding so it is getting 0 it is getting 0 it is getting 1 it is also getting 1 but it is 1 plus 1 is 2 2 means 1 0 so 1 will be going there 0 will be coming here 1 plus 1 means 2 2 means 1 0 so 1 will be going there and 0 will be coming here 1 plus 1 means 2 means 10 means 1 0 so 1 and 0 will be coming here so I will be getting this particular final product is it 140 let me check this place value is 8 16 32 64 128 so this is 128 so 128 plus 8 plus 4 8 plus 4 means 12 128 plus 12 means 140 so it has come how many bits are there in the multiplicand 4 bits how many bits are there in the multiplier 4 bits how many bits are there in the final product 8 bits remember it is 8 bits good so now let me consider this basic block diagram you have seen that this particular diagram i have used for 16 number of times here so it is containing what it is containing one full letter obviously i am doing the addition i am doing the addition so i require the full letter so now it is qj what is qj there is a jth bit of the q register q register contains what there is a multiplier what is mj mj is nothing but the jth bit of the m register what does m contain m contains multiplicand i told you this one earlier so now this mg and qj will be coming as inputs this is the sum which will be coming from the up from the upper levels so these things are coming m and j will be multiplied that means using the ending it is getting multiplied so it will be coming to this full adder do you know that how many bits are there in the full adder as input 3 bits so 3 bits will be the inputs and 2 output bits will be there one will be the sum another one is the carry this m of j is going out here this is the carry bit going out there this is the sum bit going out there and then this is the qj is going out there because qj is to be multiplied with the other with the other m mj so that's why it is going out there so now this circuit this full circuit is having one two three four inputs and one two three four outputs this full adder is having three inputs very much logical and two output lines very much logical because full adder does have three input lines and two output lines so this particular circuit has been used as a basic building block for this array multipliers for unsigned binary numbers so here you see how many times did, did i do the multiplication how many times 
16 times. Why? Because 0 into all these 4, then 1 into all these 4, 0 into all these 4 and 1 into all the 4 bits of the multiplicand. So, that is as a result of that I, I had to do uh, what should I say the 16 times. So, that is why this block has written here for 16 times has been drawn here for 16 times. So, here I will be passing the q bits, here I will be passing the multiplicand bits and it will be working. Take, a, take any one of them, I am just considering, take any one of them, any one of them. How many input lines are there? 4 input lines, 1, 2, 3, 4. How many output lines are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 output lines are there and it has been depicted in the same way. And if you want to get into the details, just look at this multiplication, whatever you have done, the same process has been followed here. So, here it is coming, the sum bits are coming here and this is the multiplicand bit is coming. So, this multiplicand bit, same thing, the multiplicand bit is also going through. So, this bit and this bit is the, they are the same bits, same bits. So, now here we will be having the full adder and the AND get and two input lines are there. So, two input lines and everything has been, two input lines are there, two input lines are there. This slanting MJ is coming, from the up direction the sum is coming and this is the outputs. So, this is known as array multipliers for unsigned binary numbers. I know that to draw these circuits in the exam copy it will take some time. But sometimes these questions used to come as a short note or in the broad questions also. You should have to draw the circuit and then go for the explanation. I think you have, um, you have got the idea what I am trying to share here. So, thanks for watching.